Ooh, ooh, uh-uh, 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 okay. Girl, <laughs> I feel like I'm over here playing. You know that game, Jenga? Is that what it's, is that what it's called, Jenga? When you, when you have to stack the blocks and make sure it don't fall? Girl, that's exactly how I feel right now. Um, this is the best setup I could come up with. So, girl, I, girl, it just, I, I don't really, girl, all I got is this microphone and my phone. I ain't got my ring light. I hate making videos now without my ring light. I hate it. Um, but I don't have my ring light with me. And I still wanted to um, run my mouth. Um, so, yeah, let's get let's get through this video because, again, girl, this setup is like, girl, hanging on by a hope and a prayer. All right. I don't really keep up with DDG and, you know, the, the Little Mermaid like that. You know, I see them in the blog sometimes. I know they were all over the blogs like a week or two ago. With some mess, I guess that had to do, I guess, with a girl that he used to fool with back in the day. I don't know. This is all I want to say about, I do want to say this about the whole DDG and um, Holly. Um, is it Holly or Hallie? I'm going to call her the Little Mermaid. <laughs> no, but um, Haley and the whole um, DDG. So... You know, a lot of people had, had their two cents. You know, everybody put their two cents in, you know, when that mess was going on. So he sent out a tweet the other day. And this is what the tweet said. Why the F she still F with him? I guess, you know, kind of like posing the question that everybody was asking. Like, why she still fool with him? And then his response to, I guess, you know, pretending that someone was asking him the question was, I got mean D-I-C-K. First of all, DDG, how old is DDG? <laughs> let me see some. let me see some. let me see some. let me see some. How old is, how old is this boy? Because I know he's not that old. DDG, oh, he's 25. DDG, the truth of the matter is, while you over there thinking you slanging something, you're really not. Girl, it's 40 and 50 and 60-year-old women out here who ain't never even had an orgasm. It's hard for me to believe that you over there slanging Lil D to Hallie, and girl, she's just having the time of her life. Now, she thinks that she's having the time of her life, <laughs> okay? But girl, we know that, girl, you're probably over there just pumping, girl. You're pro DDG gives me pumper tea, girl. Pumper tea. If you want to know what a pumper is, just wa wa watch the white boys and, and, and P-O-R-N and girl, the those are the pumpers. <laughs> okay? Um, but no. All, all BS aside. You, you know, I, this is what I put in the comment section. I said, Haley has a chance uh, for her career to explode into something magical off of The Little Mermaid. You can't be a Disney princess with a N-I-G-G-A like this on your arm. Zendaya would never. <laughs> Haley, run and don't look back. There are other fish in the sea. I get that Haley is in love. The good thing about Haley is that she's young. How old is Haley? Girl, that, the DDG uh, dude, he older than what I thought he was. I thought he was like 21. How old is Haley? Haley is 22. So Haley's 22. He's 25. Um, you know, the good thing about this whole situation, I will say this, is that Haley is, you know, only 22. Um, and for the most part, I think that we've all come to the agreement as, you know, society as a whole that when you're in your 20s, you know, you can do dumb stuff. You know, you date the wrong people. Um, and, you know, even if, you know, people are looking at you sideways on why are you messing with this person, people tend to give you a pass because it's kind of like, oh, girl, she young. You know, now when you start to get 30 and 40 and 50, that's when we just start, call we just start calling you dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so, Haley, you got a few more years before we start calling you dumb, too, okay? But right now, girl, we're giving you a pass. Um, I just don't want, I think... I think that if this movie 
if this movie explodes in the box office, I really think that this is going to take off her career. And I would hate for some man um, to taint, mess up with whatever she has going on. Do we all know or assume that Haley is doing the same thing that everybody else is doing when they was 20 and 21 and 17 and 15? And you know what I'm saying? We know Haley over there having sex. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, she's not, she's not a little girl. She's, you know, a grown woman. Um, but it's just like, I, I, I just don't like, I just don't like, the, I just don't like this dude for her. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm not nobody's daddy. Ain't nobody's uncle. I just don't like her for him. I don't like him for her. Like, you ha he needs to realize that what's about to happen for your girlfriend could really be something that takes her career to a whole nother level. And because she, this is her first big role from what I understand, girl, you can't be out here doing all of that. I got mean D.I.C. Girl, what? Child, you don't go and make a YouTube video. I hear YouTube or something. I don't like, <laughs> like, sit down. Oh, girl, this thing is about to fall. Oh, my God. Okay. Like, make, a, like, sit down. I don't like it. I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. I, I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it for her. I, I you know. Like I said, the only thing that's the only thing that's saving Chloe, I guess, as far as like public opinion, is the fact that girl she's young, right? And, and not Chloe, Haley, is that she's young. Other than that, it's kind of like, oh, Haley, girl, if she ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere, especially if that girl. I will, especially if that was her first. I don't like, cause I don't know nothing, nothing about Haley and her sex life. That could be her third partner. I don't know, but if that's her first, she definitely ain't going nowhere. <laughs> okay. Um, but I will say I'm glad to see I do I'm glad to see a lot of I'm hoping that she's reading the comments because I'm glad to see a lot of women in the comment section saying like girl no run girl no run let me tell y'all something girl look I'm just a gay man but I 91% of my channel um, are, are, are women, female, according to the, you know, the, the data on YouTube. So if you don't listen to me, <laughs> girl, listen to the other women, listen to your, listen to your big cousins and your aunties, girl, because <laughs> they telling you, girl, they've been down this road. For, some of them still going down that road, but girl, they've been down this road a few times. Hey, the girl, you need to leave that boy alone. He, he ain't no good for you. He ain't no good. And, 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 and girl, careers, like what Haley, what, what Haley can possibly do with her career, those things don't come for everybody. You know? Like, Haley has her entire life in front of her, girl. She gonna kiss a couple of frogs before she find her prince. As far as I'm concerned, this is just one, this is just a frog. <sighs> All right, y'all. Let's move on. Shout out to, shout out to my girl. I'm gonna take my nieces to see that movie, The Little Mermaid. We're gonna have a good time. All right, y'all. What are we talking about? Oh, girl, Kim. <laughs> What's going on with Kim? Girl, when I tell you about hooker, girl, by hooker crook, Kim says she's not losing this house. Now, this is what they report now. Kim Zolciak Beerman's home will not be sold at auction after a couple took action to clear this up. Um, this is a source. I guess this is according to a source. Um, the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum and her husband, Croy, um, Beerman's home was placed in foreclosure last week. According to documents obtained by People, Kim Zolciak Beerman's Georgia mansion is off, is off the uh, auction block, a source tells People. Um, the Alpharetta estate of the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum and her husband, um, former NFL player Croy Bierman, was placed in foreclosure last week, according to a notice shared by Fulton County. 
that stated that the couple had defaulted on a $1.65 million loan that they took out on the property. Trust Bank planned to auction off the property on March 7th in front of the Fulton County Courthouse. On Friday, a source close to, Bravo's, uh, to the Bravo store confirm, uh, confirmed to people that the issue has been resolved, stating the couple has taken the action to clear this up. <laughs> the law of I'm not gonna hate on Kim. I'm not gonna hate on Kim. <laughs> the law office of Brock and Scott PLLC confirmed to Entertainment Tonight that the auction was canceled on February the 22nd, but could not provide any additional information about the reason for the cancellation. Brock and Scott did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. Kim has insisted uh, since news of the foreclosure notice broke that the situation was a misunderstanding with the bank, a source pr previously told People. She is telling everyone this is a misunderstanding and has been and is being sorted out, the source said, adding she's not moving. Girl, so Kim, you call Big Papa. <laughs> So you call so 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 Croy told you it's all right because he ain't got the coin. So you you took you told Croy don't worry about it, Mama go handle it. And you made a call to Big Papa because I'm trying to figure out, girl, how we was two steps away from you and all them fifty eleven kids standing on a corner shaking a tin can. Now, girl, all of a sudden, girl, the foreclosure is no longer happening. Either that or you done sold some puss. <laughs> Is one of the two. I'm not giving her no other options. Either she got, either she called Big Papa, or she sold some Hello Kitty. And I was gonna say she sold fish plates, but we know, we know she, ain't, we know ain't nobody buying no fish plates from Kim. And I know she ain't sold. I know she ain't sold. I know she ain't sold them clothes. I want to know how Kim. I want to know how this auction, how this auction just out the blue just stopped. Don't say nothing about this uh, energy drink. I don't drink energy drinks unless I go out of town, and I'm only drinking them today, just in case if I go out later on, I'm gonna need some, you know, little pick me up. For the girls who know, girl, back in the day, girl, I was addicted to um, energy drinks. I used to drink like. Two and three and four monster drinks a day, especially when I used to uh, work overnight. Oh, girl. And girl, then I stopped. And then God definitely stopped. I definitely stopped when Miss Samuels, girl, when her heart, girl, stop pump, stop, stop pumping. God said, oh, no, man. The girls is not making it to 60. And I refuse to be one of those girls. <laughs> girl, she going to be here at least 92. <laughs> I'm not going nowhere until at least 93. And I'd be damned if I go somewhere, or I'd be damned if I exit, girl, the world over a little bit of Red Bull. So, <laughs> so girl, I don't drink energy drinks really like that, honestly, unless I go out of town. For the most part. I think the last time I had a Red Bull at home, it was a few months ago. I was with my sister and my nieces, and I wanted some coffee. And I had passed up the Starbucks, and I just stopped by the convenience store, a convenience store and got a Red Bull. But for the most part, I really don't drink energy drinks like that no more. Now, back in the day, girl, I remember one day, girl, my heart was beating fast. <laughs> it was a whole mess, girl. <laughs> my heart was beating fast. <laughs> I said, oh, God, my heart was beating fast. I was sweating and shit. I said, oh, baby, uh-uh. Anyway, so I don't know what's going on with Kim and Croy. Whatever, whatever happened. The hell if I ain't homeless. She got another day in that house. Kim, I, girl, when I tell you, when I tell you, every Kim said, I, girl, you know, Kim always gave me trailer park trash. That's what she always gave me. Um, I just feel like Kim, what Kim said, baby, Kim said, I'm not going back to that trailer park. <laughs> girl, Kim said, girl, I'm not going back to that trailer park. Kim, baby, Kim picked up that phone. You know she still got big. You know big. You know big Papa probably still got the same number. Papa, hey, how you been? I'm great. Oh, thank you. 
How's the wife? Okay. Well, I had a little situation. <laughs> and Big Papa said, all right, baby girl, I can help you out this time. Anyways, child. Okay, what else we talking about? Oh, God. Boosie. I ain't really got nothing to say about Boosie. Long story short, y'all know Boosie um, has a daughter that's a lesbian. Um, Boosie says he loves his daughter even though he doesn't accept her being gay. Explains that his family is religious, so he doesn't want his other kids to think that lifestyle is okay. Boosie. And fellow Christians. Y'all kill me. <laughs> Y'all kill me. Girl, I, you know what be the gag? You, this, is, this is really the gag of all gags. The, this is the gag to me. Y'all been having sex since y'all was 15, 16, 14, 13, got a few babies out of wedlock, right? Been married, cheated on your husband, cheated on your wife. Girl, cheated on your side chick with another chick. <laughs> and then all of us, and then, and, and, and then in Boosie's case, Boosie had his sons and I think his nephew violated by a grown woman. I think his sons were 11, 12, 13, somewhere around that age. He went and got a grown woman. I think the woman was like 22. She was grown to basically, and I can't say the words that I want to say because she, because it's not considered sex when you're being taken advantage of, but just for, you know, cause I can't use the other words. She had sex with those, with those kids. Boosie has always had an issue with, for whatever reason, girl, the homosexuals. A part of me does, a part of me, and this is like, I'm not, this is like me being dead serious. At one point I felt like, I was like, was Boosie violated as a child? I really thought that. Like, I'm like, was he violated as a child? Um... Was he violated as a child by, by some man? Because, girl, the way that girl, when it comes to, girl, the gay, he be having the most to say. And then for you to do this to your sons, right? Y'all just be, y'all be religious, but, well, y'all say y'all be, y'all say y'all religious, but then y'all turn around and do, do the stuff that Boosie do. Because he ain't by himself. I mean, shout out to his daughter. Hopefully she don't depend on him for nothing. I, I, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. You know what's so crazy? I've never really had these conversations with my family before or really e even any of my friends. Um, the only time, I'll, I'll say this much. This was years ago. This was probably, I was in my 20s. Probably like mid-20s maybe. I forgot. This was around, no, this was my, this, I think I was, uh, yeah, I think I was my mid twenties. I had a friend ask me one time, do you think you're going to heaven? I swear to God. And I was just like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I did I was so shocked that this person had asked me this. I remember telling my biological my biological biological sister she got pissed. 
I think I told her this years later though. Um, but I, I don't know how I would feel. I do know how I will feel now as a grown ass man. Um, if I found out that I had people in my circle who really didn't see it for me like that, they're only fooling with me because, oh, you're family, but really and truly, um, I don't fool with that gay shit. That's pretty much what Boosie is saying. Like, you're my daughter. I'm going to love you. But other than that, like, I don't want you to bring that shit around the family. I don't want you to, I don't want you, but I don't know. She not going to be able to come around with her girlfriend. And if she do come around with her girlfriend, she's going to act like that's her friend. You think, you think that, you think that this girl can come around with her girlfriend and kiss her girlfriend or hold, or walk up holding her girlfriend's hand? No, because he already let them, already let us know that his family don't accept that. He don't want the, he don't want the kids thinking that's okay, but it is okay. What was not okay is when you had your sons violated by that grown ass woman, nigga. That wasn't okay. And I still don't understand how he came out and said that publicly and his ass is not in jail. Because Bushi should be in prison. And that woman should be in prison. Anyways, child, that's that that's y'all that's y'all that's y'all go up for Boosie. I don't go up for Boosie. You know, I ain't gonna sit here and lie, even though the nigga is ignorant as hell. You know, he do got a couple of bobs. Oh, trifling mother. <sighs> That'd be the struggle with some of that. See, and we had this conversation before. That'd be the struggle with some of these artists. Because you know they're problematic as hell and they done stuff that you just uh, just makes your stomach turn. And then girl, you know, wipe me down, come on. And then girl, you forget all about it, huh? Because hell, I know I do sometimes. Oh, trifling milk. Anyways, y'all, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.